I've learned from the last video to not put the flash on this time. So I might actually be able to see. Logan Paul is a non- Wait, no, sorry. No, that's that's from my diary. KSI is a non- No, no. No, that that's from Jake Paul's diary. Let me try it. Let me try it one more time. One more time. Okay. Mr. Beast commits war crimes. Yeah, that one's actually true. Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI create Lunch League, which is going to go up as a competitor to Lunchable. I haven't got a clue what the hell that is. Now, if you're in the UK like me, you don't understand what Lunchable is, and you don't really get the point of it either because, like, what, your mum couldn't make you an actual packed lunch, so you had to get a ready-made one? So your parents don't love you. If a kid in a British primary school turned up with a ready-made packed lunch, he would get bullied so hard, he would get bullied so hard that he would turn into Jake Paul when he faced Cody Ko- Wait, no, Cody Ko's a bad guy as well now. Cyberbullying. If a kid in a British primary school turned up with a ready-made packed lunch, he would get bullied so hard, he would look like he had chemo because of all the stress from his hair falling out. Genuinely, I can't imagine anything sadder. I wasn't that good at football when I was in primary school. I got bullied. Imagine if I also had a ready-made packed lunch. I'd, I'd probably still get bullied. What? what was I talking about? So you guys have probably already heard about Prime. If you haven't heard about it, where have you been living? Bunch of little incels running around in the shops like, oh, I want my Prime. Prime was meant to cost like two pound a bottle, but because it was never available because it sold out so quickly, there was a black market for Prime. For a juice. Like these kids that bought Prime from the black market are definitely gonna turn out to do cocaine when they grow up. I mean, it's just, there's a correlation there. I'm not doing the maths, but there's, there's just a, there's a line there and they're gonna sniff it. But now they've got Lunchly. Now, Lunchly is going to include uh, a bottle of Prime cheese. Uh, I should really do my research, hang on. What's in a Lunchly? It comes with a Feastables chocolate bar. So I don't get how that's healthy. Prime, which tastes like shit. Crackers with a bit of cheese on it. Then you've got the pizza, which has more Prime that tastes like shit. Feastables, which isn't healthy. And then what I can only imagine is like a pizza, but for a mouse or something, like it looks tiny. If it's like this big, how do you even get a pepperoni on there? I don't understand the logistics here, but that's probably why I'm not a billionaire. Turkey Stackums. More Prime, more shit, more Feastables. Not even a cracker this time, it just looks like a regular biscuit. Is that meant to be turkey? So they announced this on September 16th, which is coincidentally when the Man City trial was meant to begin. Yep, we're still here. Okay, so they've released this product because they want to fight against Lunchables, which has been here since the 1980s. Now, they're making that sound like it's been a very long time. The 1980s was 40 years ago. In the context of my lifetime, that's longer than I've been alive. In the context of the entire history of human civilization, that's yesterday. Why are we pretending like they've been here for ages? Anyone could have done this. So the, the biggest controversy, con contra controversy, contra contra controversy, controversial. The biggest problem with Lunchly, big YouTubers, they're abusing their fans because their fans are little kids. You know, they don't know what's good for them and they're going to waste their money. So it's an easy way to make money. Now, what I have to say about this, why the hell wouldn't you do that? If I had millions of people that would do whatever I say, you best believe I'm going to be rich. That's the first thing I'm doing. The second thing I'm doing is creating the biggest Mexican wave ever because, you know, who doesn't want to have a Guinness World Record or two? The third thing I'm doing is I'm finding the five most powerful people and trying to create a Super Saiyan God like they do in in, in Super. Because you need five good hide Saiyans, or is it six? There's Vegeta, there's Trunks, there's Goten, Gohan, and then Pan when she's in Videl's stomach. And then you had Goku, who's getting the... Yeah, so five of the most powerful people are trying to make a Super Saiyan God. Because who doesn't want to be a Super Saiyan God? I think my theories are pretty well thought out. Unlike Lunchly, because it's already been hated 
like crazy. Specifically in the UK, it's created a civil war between some of the biggest YouTubers. You got Dan TDM saying things like, I can't not say anything anymore. Why is he why is he pretending like he's like like it sounds like he's touched a child and he's like saying like, oh i'm so sorry like no bro you you're just saying like oh yeah people are making money in a bad way like why are you starting the sentence like that doesn't that that made me think badly of you if i read that tweet and i don't know what's going on i can't not say anything anymore is the first line i'm thinking you committed a crime this is selling stuff for the sake of making money simple isn't every single product ever doing exactly that uh how does this benefit their fans i don't think they care about their fans I don't think anyone really cares about their fans because they have money and with money you can do anything. I don't have money so you know I'm a good guy that's how it works. Uh, this is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. I saw one tweet that said Dan TDM has single-handedly rattled the YouTube community so much that you got a tweet from KSI from it, you got a tweet from Logan Paul from it, I think you got two tweets from Logan Paul, you got a tweet from Mr Beast and you got a whole video from ksi on the only channel they actually uploads on which gets like three million views a video how have you been rattled this much by a guy that no one cares about anymore this is this is elite levels of shithousery logan paul came through and just headshot straight for dan tdm we spent our lives creating content and building our brands now we want to build businesses oh damn KSI the popular Sidemen member. This is the first time I think I've ever seen where they've referred to KSI as, or rather they haven't referenced the Sidemen as KSI's group, but rather KSI the popular Sidemen member. Big up the Sidemen. Yeah, you lot are coming up. Yeah, you, you'll get there one day. <clears throat> the point is, Logan and JJ, or KSI, sorry, I'm not boys with them, I shouldn't say that. Logan and KSI have made a company with Mr. Beast, who is literally the most subscribed human being on the planet behind a bunch of greedy corporations at the exact time that he is being sued for literal war crimes i'm gonna repeat that mr beast the youtuber the man with 300 million subscribers which is insane is being sued for committing a war crime how is that possible how do you commit a war crime without the war anyways yeah so this is to do with his uh beast games uh idea which as far as i can figure out is kind of like the hunger games but in real life which well uh, that's also the squid games i was gonna apply to be on that but i still haven't should i apply to be on squid games let me know i think it was something along the lines of the ambulance wasn't like there for ages which is illegal he has a duty of care to those people bloody bloody blah, blah, blah they're suing him but then, on top of that, the cherry on top of Mr. Beast's worst three months, I'm going to say. The worst summer of Mr. Beast's life. Just to push him over the edge. He is being accused of creating a culture of misogyny and sexism. After a certain point, like, you just have to feel for the guy. Like, I hope he can breathe. Uh, the women that work for Mr. Beast are saying that, you know, they weren't treated right. Any any sexism or anything that happened was kind of just acknowledged but not really said anything and they didn't really do anything about it. Allegations. Let's see what happens. And that's the end of the article. So, to summarize, Logan Paul is a nonce. KSI is a nonce. Mr. Beast commits war crime. Lunchly is going to cause kids in the UK to have chemo from stress of hair loss. Dan TDM is a king. KSI is a member of the Sidemen, not the other way around. Mr. Beast commits war crimes without war. Bit of sexism just to sprinkle on top there. Great. Cold temp, man I bring heat and late nights. Now you ain't speaking a sorcerer. Expel a demon. God forbid there's a witch and reaching. Drip from a kid. The oats been deepened. I got away where the dams no deacon. I got flows, Annalise proven. Good defender, Annalise Keaton. I'm set, 